Hey guys, it's Saturday night and we've got another Speedway Chat Show for you. Tonight we're talking about the British final and all of the live streaming and changing of dates and all the rest of it. If you've got anything at all you want to ask, we've got a load of riders. We've got uh, Mark Lemon from Bellevue. We've got Chris Louie from BSPA and Ipswich. Um, if you want to ask anything, get it in the comments below. And there will be two tickets um, for free access to the uh, British final on Monday night given away at the end of the show. So, here we go. Going on, there guys. we go. Hey, Wilbur. How are you? you? Good. I'm good. How are you guys? Pretty good. How was uh, how was the aftermath of the first Speedway chat show? Oh, it's crazy. You got some paparazzi standing outside my door, and oh yeah, it's big. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's good. So um, we've got. Um, I'll, we're going to go straight into it. We'll bring Mark Lemon and uh, Chris Louis into the chat. So, hey, Mark, how are you? You good? Yeah, I'm good, guys. How are you? Yeah, good. And Chris, you're good. Hey guys, how are you? Yeah, can you can you hear us? I can hear you. No, can, can you can hear me? Can is Chris the only one that can't hear me? Can, can someone ask him if he can hear me? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, perfect. You're good. Yeah, good. Thanks, mate. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, um, do you want to? Talk us around um, what happened with the changing of dates and things like that, Chris, so the fans know from your side. Uh, yeah, well, um, I've never done quite so much work um, in the last three or four weeks to end up with uh, no meeting at all. So um, it's, been, it's been a tough few weeks. You know, I mean, Mark will know as well, um, particularly from my point of view, trying to run a meeting with, with spectators in uh, went from... Uh, a test event with 2,300 spectators to down to 1,000, uh, down to none at all. Uh, and then uh, obviously the weather's now played its part and um, things have moved on to, to Bellevue on Monday. But um, it was the right decision. It's rained here all day. And uh, yeah, I'm disappointed, you know, personally for the work that I've put in, but more so really for the club and our fans because having the British final at Ipswich was a, was a massive gig. And, um, you know, they're missing out on that. But uh, the most important thing is the meeting will go ahead because... Uh, you know, the guys over here are not going to see too much speedway this year. Mm. So, um, we have got two tickets. Chris has sorted out two access passes for the live stream for Monday night. So, um, if you share the video um, and you need to make sure your privacy settings are to public so everyone can see the post because else we can't see who's shared the, the, uh, shared the post. Um, and then we will pick two people at the end of the, the video to, um, to win tickets so you don't have to pay to watch on Monday night. So, um, so Mark, how much the, is the pay-per-view? Uh, sorry, it's uh, twelve ninety-five. Yeah, yeah. Twelve pounds ninety-five. Yeah. Um, so, Not Mark, bad. you had your your um, first live streamed meeting on uh, on Thursday. Did it go as well as you expected? Uh, well, there's a number of reasons we can say it went well. Um, but first of all, while I'm on the show, I just want to congratulate Wilbur on uh, his 250 uh, American Championship. Uh, you'll watch that and it's pretty Thanks cool a bunch. The national championship. So yeah, it's cool. Yeah, looking back at Thursday, you know, there was, uh, you know, I appreciate Chris, 
Yeah, the um, the the difficulties in, in running a, a meeting in this this, this current climate uh, is tough, and obviously getting all the, the government meeting the government guidelines and getting the local council's authority, and it's it, yeah, it's very very difficult and very tough. And it was a you know uh, we we've obviously at Bellevue have been uh, pretty progressive and um, sort of aggressive in the way we want to sort of push Speedway forward. Um, you know, we've been very fortunate. We've got some great owners. Uh, and so, you know, our chief exec and myself, Adrian, uh, we've, we've kind of pretty much from the word off when things went shut down, it's like, how can we, how can we maintain, uh, the continuous record that Bellevue has, um, you know, for the longest ever running Speedway uh, club in the world. So there was a burning ambition to make sure that, uh, that, that continued. I, I guess that was probably more the, the driving point behind it, but we had to look at many options. Um, on how we could, you know, physically do that and then sort of monetize it in this, you know, especially without you don't have your, your number one sort of clientele down to purchase tickets and come into the stadium, which is what we've mainly re uh, resorted to in the, in the past to, to, for the Speedway to survive. So obviously, the, you know, the only option that we had to run this event uh, was behind closed doors and try the live streaming. So there was really much going to be a, a proof of concept product that we, we looked at and um, did as much homework as we possibly could. We we believe that um, it uh, was a success in the, the sense that um, we we with Sports Central uh, and our great you know staff at Bellevue Speedway and all our volunteers and the helpers and our, our our loyal fan base that we we delivered that. But we also our sponsors. You know we felt. With Julie, that we needed to, um, you know, give something back to them as well. So, you know, the monet to monetize on the financial side, that aside, I think that the show was a success, and I think we can build on this, and we learn a lot. Yeah, for sure. And I think that's, I think that's it as well. It's like, it's the first first time um, that you guys had done the the live stream. You know, you you can't expect to turn around and, and it be a massive success right away. I think we've got to keep this going to keep the fans realize that this is how it's got to be to to generate any money um i spoke to i i'm going to show you i did a a meeting an interview with uh jason crump earlier and this is the uh interview and i didn't record any audio so <laughs> so that yeah. that was absolutely useless and i wasn't going to call him back and go dude i didn't press to record the audio but you know, we were chatting earlier, and we was and uh, we were saying, no, no, no one knows what the situation is with with COVID. You know, we could be, we could find out something in a month's time, and we all go back to normal. But we also could be here in twelve months' time. Now, for all the boys to be out of work for twelve months, that's going to be nearly two years of no riding, not earning any money. You know, they're going to have to go and find other resource resources to to earn their money. You know, and that's going to damage the sport. In a, in a in a big way you know um we're going to run out of riders we're not it's just going to be really bad you know so if this is the the way that we go forward for is is live streaming you know the fans have got to get used to that that yeah when it's not premier sport where you can pay 10 pound a month and you get two meetings or four meetings a week or whatever because those those meetings are already being filmed so it's not costing anything more to broadcast them in the UK, where here in the UK, we're not set up that way. So we have got to get multiple cameramen. We've got to get multiple cameras, like broadcast equipment to do it all. And it's, it is expensive. Um, and until, until it becomes a part of everyday life for Speedway, then it's, we've got to, we've got to pay for, they've got, it's got to be paid somehow because obviously the riders, I've got a big expense for their on their side as well. But uh, what's um, what's what's the BSPA's um, thoughts on on the live streaming, Chris? Uh, well, I mean, uh, obviously it's early days, um, and and the first event as far as uh, Sports Central and, and certainly Bellevue Speedway went and um, put on a great show, and I, I thought you know everybody involved did an absolutely fantastic job. So um, it was a cracking start. Obviously, we get another opportunity. Uh, on Monday night for the British final, which is uh, you know, domestically for British Speedway, a massive event for us. And, and the riders, I know, are all really looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, live streaming um, could certainly be part of the way forward, but um, I'm 
far more optimistic than you, Jerry, and think that come March we'll be uh, up and running in front of a fan base. I'm sure it won't be unrestricted, but um, but I'm I'm confident that we'll be uh, uh, riding in front of fans, and that's the most important thing. Because yeah. one one thing that you know the whole COVID situation has, has taught me personally is is how big a part the fans play in all sports, not just speedway, but every sport. I've watched other yep. sports, um, namely football behind closed doors. It doesn't work. You know, we need the fans there. Hmm. Yeah. And, and, I, and I definitely wasn't saying that there isn't going to be fans going next year. I'm just saying that that's an op- a possibility. Um, but also, you know, w- with the option of live streaming and things like that, you know, we, we can set radiuses around the track and say 50 miles from the track and say no one within that area can see the see the meeting. But outside you can. So people still turn up and actually watch watch the meeting. Um, but it's also another revenue income from for the club you know so when you when they're at away meetings they can their home fans can see the the away racing yeah so I mean, the, yeah I, we, we see I it a lot, a lot of way forward, for sure jerry you know it, it yeah. is part of the way forward we we were looking to um to live stream um probably half a dozen events this year had the season have gone ahead in the normal fashion so um yeah yeah we're, we're definitely looking at it cool will we were saying as well you've got stuff in the states that's um that's that's being live streamed now as well he's from really far away so signal (laughs) (laughs) right can you hear yeah it could could be the absolute storm that are can you hear me Uh, yeah yeah, yeah, we can hear you now oh he's gone right we'll just yeah, so he was saying earlier that, 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 that that's what they're trialling in, uh, in in America as well at the moment. Um, it's can not you, period. It's back. Yeah, we can hear you. You're oh, good? Right, yeah. Yeah, so we've had this Speedway channel called like Stream Speedway Action here for a while, and it's now starting to develop into something newer. Um, so now they've come out with a pay-per-view type style uh, channel that they're going to like live stream every single race, but it's going to be on a pay-per-view, and the pay-per-view is like 15 American dollars. So, I mean, it's, it's a step forward in the right direction since we can't really have fans here. Um, there's been some hardcore Speedo fans that have just bought, you know, the entry and signed the waiver and bought a Speedo license to come watch the race, you know. So, <laughs> it's, it's a step forward in the future for sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so, uh, d- 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 I was going to say, it's like it's in these like challenging times, it's, you know, we've, we've got to, uh, seem to be sort of like uh, you know adapting to the you know maybe the, the, the new norm and then the clientele um, base whether it's you know to, to stream into their living rooms um, you know because we don't know, you know Boris obviously said that you know we could be seeing some you know restrictions in place until March you know so hopefully things will resolve before the start of the season but you know I, I would like to think like you said you know we can geo block areas you know, for the local track and then uh, you know the way fans could probably watch watch their team on the road. And tap into a, a newer audience because we're finding, and, and Chris will probably back me up here, that not as many uh, away fans travel uh, or home yeah. fans travel to the away matches as they once did. You know, there used to be two or three coach loads when I, I first yeah, started yeah, coming sure. to the UK, and um, you know, it was a big thing. And obviously, we know the rise and the management know when you're traveling on the motorways these days, it's, um, it's quite uh, you've got to allow half a day pretty much to go, you know, a couple hundred miles, so it's, it's become yeah. you know, a lot more challenging. So. Yeah, there's, there's those aspects that we can tap into, I think. And, um, and this process that we're doing now, uh, we can learn a lot from it. It's, you know, and especially now that we're having two meetings in a you know, relatively short period of time, we'll be able to collect that data and then and obviously take that forward. And, and even like the, the, the guys that did the, the streaming, you know, they certainly learned a lot the other night. But it's about, you know, putting a, you know, a package together and, and, and making sure that the, the criteria is probably similar across everywhere because it'd be no good having a, a different price points and we're just got to try to refine everything and make sure the similar shows go out and, and people can really embrace their speedway whether it's coming to the stadium or actually uh, viewing online yeah, yeah. And, and and that's the the beauty of the live streaming as well you know it doesn't matter if you're an eastbourne fan um you know we can watch bellevue it's it's not it doesn't matter where in the country you are or even even in the world you know when i was speaking to crumpy earlier he was saying that his dad watched the Bellevue meeting the other, the other night, you know, so it's, uh, 
there's there's no uh, it's, it's no longer a catchment area of 50 miles within the track. It's 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 now worldwide. It could be, you know, and then those numbers could be massive. You know, we could have the guys in America yeah. watching You're British speedway, right. and, 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 and there's something coming in. Is, is that You're dead right, coming Jerry. in from wherever? How many how many people are watching Polish Speedway on a weekly basis now? Because you know it's the only speedway they've got, and and I, I know for a fact we've done the research and we've spoken to the broadcasting companies in, in other countries, and they actually prefer, believe it or not, the Poles actually prefer to watch British Speedway. They they they, they like yeah. the closer racing, the different tracks. Uh, that they even in their own uh, comments say that you know sometimes the Polish Speedway is boring, and we've obviously mentioned those. Uh, comments earlier in the season on your show yeah. so yeah they, they kind of they love the british speedway so there's a you know maybe there's a there is a, a target audience that we we've, we've un, not got with untapped at the moment um but you know we're in a position right now we we have to you know adapt we have to modify we have to embrace some new technologies and you know and clearly this these couple of events will will, will put us on a, you know, a, you know, a platform that we can uh take it take it forward hopefully Let's hope so. Um, also, the the other thing that um, when I was chatting to Crumpy earlier, he was saying that people are comparing the live stream from Thursday to Sky Sports, you know, and there's, you know, they'll pay X amount for their Sky Sports package and they get to watch Speedway and stuff. It, it's not, it's not the same, is it? You know, like, it's just not feasible to turn up with a satellite truck. And I mean, Chris, you worked in TVs, you know, the, the big trucks and all the screens. And then there's another van, which is for the graphics and things like that. It's just not viable to, to do that for Speedway yet until, until the technology develops and, you know, there's, there is more of it. You know, yeah. I mean, obviously in terms of live stream, um, it's a different, it's a different thing. It's a, it's a different way of making revenue for, for the sport and for the clubs. Um, and you're right. You know, if, if you, if you produce um, something to, to the, the spec of, of a Euro sport, BT sport, Sky sports type of package, you know, you'd be charging a hundred pound a head. So, um, to watch yeah. It. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's not going to happen. But, you know, at the end of the day, the, the quality of broadcast um, from Bellevue on Thursday was, was absolutely fine. It was enjoyable. It was informative. It had everything that you needed. You heard from the riders between races. Um, so, so in that respect, you know, it, it gives you exactly what you need. And as Mark said, it's something, this is, this is just getting us on the platform. Um, we need to follow the path. We need to improve it and, and take it on. But, um, you know, the guys, obviously, we've got a brand new... Uh, contracts that should have started in 2020. It's been rolled over to 2021 with Eurosport, and they've been fantastic. You know that they're our broadcast partner who really are looking to move the sport on in this country, uh, help us develop it. Uh, really exciting times ahead. I'm um, starting in 21. Cool. Right. So, um, shall we get uh, some of the riders in? Do you boys need to leave, or do you want to stay in and get involved with the with the riders as well. We've got Rory Schlein and uh, Stevie Worrell at the moment. I can give you another yeah, we'll just... 10 minutes, but um, I had a therapy yeah. session with Nigel Pearson earlier in the day and he said I've got to go out, find some good food and, and drink some beer. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, well, no my, 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 my weekend slightly changed since uh, I got the phone call from uh, Sorry, Chris on Friday, Friday morning. Um, you know, we, we obviously put a lot of work in to get that uh, uh, live stream event up and running and, and the, the Ace is on track in 2020. And uh, you know, got the call from Chris at eight thirty on Friday morning. Obviously, with the, I, mean, I watched the weather forecast on the, on the news in the, in the morning. I thought, oh hello, and uh, I wasn't really expecting uh, to be receiving the, the British final at uh, Bellevue uh, from from Ipswich. So, I mean, I, I think Chris, do you want to sort of explain how we we came to that? Uh, yeah, it, it, it was a, <laughs> a long process. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, we so wanted to have have the meeting at, at Ipswich, but um, we had to look ahead at, at what, what we were being dealt and, you know, the weather forecast was spot on. We've had rain all day. It's been blowing 50 mile an hour winds for the last two days. Um, and Ipswich is a, a collapsible fence and under 50 mile an hour winds, it collapses without any speed run riders giving it a hand. So, uh, yeah, you know, we, we've ended up at Bellevue and uh, I've handed all the workload over to uh, Adrian and Mark, uh, who... Uh, Willingly took the bat on. They they love it, and um, you know I think they got so excited after Thursday that they're just ready to go again. Yeah, yeah, and I, uh, yeah, I think yeah, I think that I mean the, the, 
the thing is here really is just like you know the importance you know you know it would have been great for Ipswich to have the British final you know obviously we've we've staged it uh, for the last you know, few years and um, the National Speedway Stadium and you know we 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 cherish having that uh, prestige event um, but the circumstances this year with the you know the, the social distancing and the, the measures in place meant that realistically the the, the Ipswich could get a, a lot larger numbers than we could at our stadium. Um, and, you know, obviously now that uh, there's no crowds at all, um, you know, we're more than willing to sort of help out because really it's, it's all about pushing British forward, uh, British Speedway forward. So, um, you know, as disappointing as for Chris, we're, we're really looking forward to it and it again. Um, so we've got one here. I don't know if, if you're able to tell us, but um, Lee Trigger says, do we know what the viewing figures were for Thursday? Um, um yeah, I mean, that, they, uh, well, I'm not really going to divulge too much about it, to be honest, but like, it, yeah. um, it was, you know, the important fact really was to, to the concept, um, to get it out yeah. there. Um, it, you know, monet, on the monetary side, it, it certainly wasn't, we didn't get enough viewers to, to cover our, our costs, so there's a lot more work that needs to be done around that. But, you know, that can all involve in, in time to come, whether we can sell advertising to the sponsors and, and, and take it a step forward. And like I said, with, uh, Chris mentioned, you know, the Eurosport contract comes into play next year, so we've got to work around that as well, which is pretty important that we embrace the uh, the Eurosport. They're going to put on a fantastic show because they're they're so excited to have have Speedway and, and make up a little Speedway uh, network, you know, not just in, in the UK but you know across the, the Speedway nation. Um, so the numbers were, as far as we were concerned, we were happy with them um, because it it was the first time that we've done this, uh, and we didn't know. And, and let's face it, we didn't have a lot of lead up time to it because obviously it's difficult in this climate to actually, well, we didn't have the go ahead really until a couple of weeks ago. So it, that was difficult. And, you know, I guess changing the, uh, the event for the British finals kind of probably hinder it a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're, we're satisfied, put it that way, but we're, there's still a bit to go. Cool. Um, right, so we bring two of the boys in. We've got two of them, and there's more that said that they would come on, but they are. <laughs> They've not turned up. So here's uh, Rory Schlein and uh, Stevie Worrell. You all right, boys? Hey, guys. How are we? Good, good. Um, so what's your, what's your take on the, on the, on the live streaming um, from Thursday? And, you know, obviously we've got a British final uh, coming up as well. And obviously you're both, you're both in that. Um, you know, in the conversation I had earlier was, you know, it doesn't matter if it's 2020 or if it's 2019 or 2021. You win that that night, you're, you're a Brit British final winner, you know. Like, you're still going to have the same prestige. That name's going to be on that trophy forever. You know, so there's, there's still a lot to, to to race for on, on Monday night, even though there's, you've not had the, the normal season that you would have had if we didn't have COVID-19. No, 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 no. That one, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I thought I, th I thought I'd give the British citizen the, the first first go know. at it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he hasn't got fifty people to meet him, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> look, I think Chris and, and Mark covered it like it was the first one. Uh, it's what that like anyone sort of done in England. Uh, circumstances with no crowd. It, it was different. Um, but from a writer's point of view, at the actual meeting, it seemed, I spoke to Crumpy about it, it just seemed like a, a sparring event you do in Poland, like pre-season. So um, the intensity was still there, I thought. I thought, considering us lads hadn't been to the tapes for well, probably coming up 12 months, I thought the racing was fairly good. So, um, But as in British final, uh, it doesn't change the fact if it's a British final, an Aussie final, an American final or a world final. Once your name's on that trophy, no one can take that away. So I think come Monday night, you know, there'll be 16 lads there trying to, uh, you know, engrave their name into that trophy. Yeah, you've got, you've got a lot of young lads like the Kyle Bickley's and uh, Tom Brennan's and stuff like that. They, they've got a point to prove because they're young and on the scene, you know, and they're going to want to put their name out there. And, and obviously you've got the more established riders like yourselves that don't want to be shown up by those younger riders. You know, I think well, I think it's going to be a, a really good night for for Speedway for sure. Well, I I think it's a it's a great thing that we've we've able to like bring these young lads on, 
uh, that's what we're trying to do with the, the GB youth at the minute. Um, the more these lads ride against better competition, the, the more they'll only improve and, and uh, get better. So, um, you know, I know there are a few senior lads that have opted not to, to race, but what a great opportunity to bring some of these young lads on. Um, you know, I think some of them deservedly should, should be in there anyway. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, if someone uh, hands you a gift, you take it and unwrap it. Yeah, for sure. And some of these younger lads, they've hardly been off the bike as well. So we're, they're, they're ready and raring to go and we're still blowing the cobwebs out the valves. Yeah, so for it. sure. That's yeah, no, stop some of the young... <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I I bumped into... Um... Tom Brennan on Tuesday, you know, and he's been touring and from in all over Europe and riding in Poland and, you know, and then, like you say, there are you guys that haven't, haven't been riding, you know, maybe maybe he has an advantage that he's, he's not completely. Yeah, I, I, we well, only have to look at people like Drew Kemp, um, like the guy's been riding anywhere and everywhere and uh, watching some of the races at, at the Europe. Um, uh, under 19 championship at Scunthorpe, like them lads were throwing it about like they've been racing all year, which a lot of them have. So, you mm. know, exactly what Stevie said, they've done <laughs> probably 100 more laps than what we've done. So, you know, we had the practice obviously on Wednesday at Ipswich, was great. And then obviously, lucky few of us who got to ride on Thursday, obviously, we got some laps in at Bellevue. But, you know, them guys are going to be a lot sharper as it, you know, when it comes to going to the line with the tapes, the reactions, stuff like that. So, you know, we'll have to be on our toes, that's for sure. Yeah. So there's a, there is some talk about, um, I've, se I've seen some comments online about yourself and Crumpy both being in the British final, have it, having your uh, non-regional accent. <laughs> um, well, look, it, it's, it's my fourth year doing it now, so it, it's almost to the point where it's got to a little bit of a pathetic point, you know, where... I've mentioned it loads of times that there's been British riders have done the Aussie final. You know, you've had Ivan Major, Barry Briggs win the British final. So, at the end of the day, um, myself and Crumpy, we nominated for the meeting. Uh, we were selected yeah. by, uh, you know, the, the governing body. We turn, yeah, we're, we're going to turn up and uh, we'll race. You know, yeah. uh, other and riders had the opportunity to race. Uh, they chose not to. Um, no different to when a lot of the, uh, some of the British guys come out to Aussie. You know, they... Yeah, nominated sure. no different to us so uh you know end of the day you know yeah. it's, it's about putting on a show um and if you haven't got the riders to put on the show well then you haven't got a lot there to to, to shout about no, you you're right it's, it's about having the best the best product and and getting that out there and and having you boys in there is, is definitely a, an advantage more than anything else for sure no yeah. um Da, 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 da. Uh, what else was we going to say? I was gonna if anybody's got any have questions, an yeah, Wilbur, go for it. Uh, I have an input on like how you how you Aussies are coming over to England and doing stuff like this. You know, uh, when I won my championship a few weeks ago, I had a Swedish flag on the podium. Um, John Cook came up and gave it to me at the <laughs> right after the race, and then I I got crap from the AMA saying that it was like you're an american you're supposed to be doing this you're supposed to be doing that this is an american championship and i was like i'm both sorry and then i made a point and i was like john cook went over to sweden won the swedish championship when he was an american riding on a swedish license yeah it doesn't it, it, it was funny I, it's it it just suits people's narrative really um at the end of the day everyone's a speedway rider uh, exactly. and we'll be like you, like you spent most most of your youth gr growing up in Sweden so you ha you have a soft spot for for you know for Sweden um, for sure. no different to for, to what I've got here in the UK like my kids were born here they go to school here my my fiance is English my in-laws are English so look at so the end of the day spent, I've, you've spent more time here than you have in Australia haven't you I've lived in the UK longer than I have lived in Australia yeah so uh, make of what you want of it at the end of the day um, I'll no, no rules have been broken. No backhands have been done. It's just I thought they'd be cool to race in a British final. I made the necessary uh, uh, criteria to do so. And when yeah. I nominated, I got selected. It's as simple as that. Yeah, yeah. So all good. So, Stevie, you haven't said very much. <laughs> <laughs> I got a word in. You know, <laughs> awesome. You know, for you, 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 you know, how many times have you ridden the season? Have you just run the Bellevue meeting or have you been away anywhere on road? Or 
Um, Poole had a practice day. We, when we originally thought the season was going to go ahead in August, um, Poole got Leicester, so we, we all went to there for the day. But then that was the, the last time that I was out before the Ipswich practice, which was um, a few days ago. And then obviously Bellevue on Thursday. Yeah, other than that, nothing. It's it's hard to to get motivated and keep going out because you there's with what's been going on, there's not been any light at the end of the tunnel. You know, there's no carrot being dangled to say get yourself ready for for now. So you, you kind of just you'd be going out and riding with with no real reason to do it. And we all know the yeah, wearing, the cost of yeah. speedway. Yeah, the cost of speedway are spiraling and um yeah engines. Tires, you know, it, it's too expensive just to go out with no, with no real motive for it. So I, yeah, yeah. I kind of, I kind of didn't really get much done. So I, I'll ask the same question we asked earlier on in the show was, um, you know, like with the current situation, if the, if it was prolonged and stuff like that, and you boys are again out of work for a long period of time, you know, that that's going to make a massive effect on not just your riding ability probably you know and and how how you ride but also you know you're gonna have to go and find other other means of, of bringing money in to you know run your household and, and all, all the rest of it and then that will make a massive effect of when speedway does come back and there isn't you know the riders are, are now committed to do something else that they've been doing for the last 18 months two years or whatever it is you know um what's your your views as riders on, on that you know like are you desperate to get back on track racing whether it's live streaming or whatever you know I am yeah because for, for I mean everyone has a different outlook on speedway I guess it depends how how invested you are in it you know I'm one of them people where I, I kind of if I'm a speedway and I'm a speedway I don't have like a part time job on the side or I do whatever if I, I'm, I'm kind of all in and um, I think that's the only way you can, if you're trying to progress and get to the top, that's the only way you can do speedway. You need to sort of focus on it all the time. And mm. the problem with that then comes, there's no income, you know, when you're not racing, performance-based pay is uh, no racing, no money. And so, yeah, I've, I mean, I've been quite lucky that I've, I've been able to fall into something that has, has um, kept me ticking over for the time being. But I guess there's a lot of lads who aren't, that fortunate who'd maybe up to nine to five or or whatever um yeah and how do you get time off then if 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 an odd meeting comes up and things like oh looking into the future if if we don't have regular meetings like two or three a week you can't really quit your job so to speak to to go and do that because there's just not enough money in coming in to yeah. to cover that so yeah i don't i look in long term at I really don't know how to like how to look at it, you know. Do you work or do you do you race? But if the if the live stream thing takes off, you could get a lot of regular meetings. You know, you could get three, four meetings a week, just like a normal speedway calendar, and yeah. and, and you can become a professional speedway rider again and basically focus on that. And and uh, yeah, everything's back to normal. Yeah, and it and it and it is all about numbers, you know. Um, like I was saying, you're not then restricted to the 50 miles around your track to to pull in those riders. You know, you, your fans could be coming from anywhere. You know, they could be in Australia, they could be in America, they could be all over. And if we could get the the price right for the live streaming, um, you know, it doesn't have to be an extortionate amount of money. To, not an extortionate amount. That's not the right word to use. But like doesn't have to be a lot of money for the live stream access you know because you're getting let's let's say in in a, in a year's time we can get ten thousand people watching a live stream the amount of money that for each access doesn't have to be quite so much does that that make sense like it's yeah, the same yeah, obviously the, the admission the higher, to the, the, the higher the views the, the you can drop down the the price of the of the actual stream then can't you yeah because the costs and are it's still covered the same it's almost like if you you hope to put Speedway down to a five five pounds to come in the gate instead of fifteen or eighteen or whatever it is, but you get four times more. Four people. times, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. I wish that would I wish that would work great, but I bet if you did it, you'd still get the same amount of people. Yeah, I th I th well, I think we just need to uh, 
to get it out there to, to as many people as possible. And, and, and may, maybe the, it is a hybrid of the two, you know, of the live audience and the, and the, and the streaming audience. Cause it doesn't matter if watching it on TV, you know, you don't get that smell. You don't get that atmosphere of actually being there. You don't, you know, you, you sit there and you can hear the bikes running and like, it's the whole atmosphere of going to speedway. The same as the football, it's you know, you can watch it on TV. Well. It's never as good as actually going to old Trafford or wherever and, and, everyone's singing and they're doing all the things that they're doing and it's it's the atmosphere that you go for for the live thing so there's there's always that place for that but if we can you know sensibly make it work for getting tens uh, tens of thousands of people to uh to watch a live stream which would be obviously beneficial for the riders the clubs everybody you know you know, the, the people are out there for sure. You know, I, I just sent Chris some some details earlier. Our show has hit six hundred thousand viewed minutes in 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 five months. You know, we've had nearly three hundred thousand different people watch our show, which is crazy. You think, well, where, where are all these people? You know, because you go to a speedway meeting and sometimes there's like a less than a thousand people there. So there are there are people out there that are interested in it. We just got to tap into it and find that happy medium of where where it's all going to work, I think. And uh, it's, uh, where's, you know, Louis Kerr just sent me a message saying he's, he's got to shoot somewhere. But um, yeah, you know, it's, it's finding that happy medium and making it a, a, a success. And I think that's what obviously the BSPA have been doing, trying to do for, for a long time. And, you know, and, and Mark, have, we've had lots of conversations about live streaming and all that sort of stuff. And I think it's, it's all pointing in the right direction it's, and it's all positive. Do you agree? Yeah, and I, yeah, I think this was a, a classic time. Like we, we couldn't be sat still doing nothing. Um, we could quite easily just sort of like you know chain the, the gates up and walk away and come back next year. But we, we don't really know what next year is going to look like. Unfortunately, uh, there's so many uncertainties uh, hovering around. So we we felt definitely for, from our point of view at Bellevue and uh, obviously and hence why we jumped on to to take over the British final. Um, you know, it's, it's obviously at the moment it's not really a a revenue winner, of course, but we, we, we felt it necessary that, you know, we have to have a proof of concept and try it, try it at least uh, to see where it would take us. You know, it could have been an absolute waste of time. It's clearly proven that it wasn't, which is great. But, uh, you know, like I said, we can't be stood still waiting for the, you know, the, the, the norm to come back because it may take a lot longer. So, yeah, there's this challenges for everyone and I, I feel for the riders. I, I would hate to be a speedway rider now. Um, in this current climate, because you know, you, you, know, you just don't like said about what Steve was you know, going on about. It's just it's a very tough situation to be in. And some riders have, you know, and in respect to them, have, have, have sort of hung their boots up for this year and, and parked their bikes. And, and, and then others obviously are out there practicing most weeks and keeping keeping in the in the game. So it's, there's no right or wrong. Um, but yeah, I said I think it's just a time when we've, we've got to be a little bit different and and and, and sort of go a bit head on. Yeah, can you imagine announcing that it's your last season and then this happens? <laughs> <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one more. You got one more winter here now, Rory. You're gonna yeah, love it. it. Looks. It, it looks like it. Um, yeah. Look, I, I I won't be the only one whose life hasn't sort of been halted or turned upside down. Everyone will have their their story, but. Look, you know, everything sort of seems to happen and, and you know, we've had to put some things on the back burner. And um, But at the end of the day, you, there's nothing I can do, or anyone else can do really. So like um, sure. uh, Mark was saying, you know, it's a perfect time to try things and do, you know, uh, uh, try and do what you can do in a, in a point, well, in a year of crisis really. Um, sure. You know, we, we – Myself, uh, Ian Sedison from ATPI, Rob Lyon, uh, we're working really hard with the with the with the youth as well uh, for Team GB. So we, we we're trying to keep busy, and um, I think that's all you can do really is keep yourself busy and and try and make the best of it. Yeah, for sure. And it's I don't know. That, and that, and that is literally all you can do, isn't it? You can't do any more than. You know, let's let's try and get as much speedway in front of people as they can, and keep it keep it front of mind. You know, and then when we can have crowds back, hopefully they're bigger and better than they've been for 
been for years, you know, and ev- everyone's anticipating the, the new season coming. So um, I'm just going to say again, you know, anybody who is watching, if you share this video, make sure the post is public so everyone can see it. Um, we're going to give away two access codes for the British final. Um, you know, I, I, I'm sure all of you will agree, you know, this is the opportunity for the fans to get behind British Speedway. It doesn't matter if you're a Bellevue fan. It doesn't matter if you're from Plymouth, Eastbourne, wherever, you know, this is your opportunity to get behind British Speedway, back the British riders, give them some money to sort of keep themselves going until until they are back earning the proper wage, you know, um, and, and keep keep all the, the interest there, you know, let's, let's get it as going nuts. We, we want it everybody to be watching this and uh yeah it might be more than your premier sports membership or it might be more than what it is to go and watch an illegal feed of, of a grand prix on facebook but uh you know you're not you're not helping the sport by doing that the only way to help the sport right now is pay your money and uh and and let's let's make it a success as, as much of a success as it can be so um does anybody else have anything else that they uh, they feel they want to say? Who's going to win on, 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 on Monday night? Sorry? Yeah, who is going to win on Monday night? That's a good one. Rory? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, what's your money on? Um, Who's your money on? Well, if I, if I can do six rides like eat 15, I, I, I might be able to throw my hat in the ring. I had you trapped. Yeah. I just run too wide. <laughs> I had you off gate four. I just run too wide. Uh, oh, Steve, mate, 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 I, 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 I heard you had a little nibble, though. I heard you had a little no, nibble no. off gate four. I watched it back. I've, I've watched it back on the um, on the on the demand thing on the stream. And and all that flack everyone gave me about rolling at the beginning of the night. It was you, wasn't it? No, I was. I was sat still. <laughs> no, well, I was ready the, the to go. Straights, the straights look pretty slick, so I think you got a good chance. Yeah, uh, well, uh, <laughs> I was I was really really looking forward to tonight, Chris. I even told Danny on Thursday night. I said, I tell you what, Bob told me it's a new clay ready for for Saturday. I thought yeah, I, I I got tingles in my toes. I did when he hit, when he told me that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon yeah. the old boys coming back and and gonna make a big splash in the real spinal grumpy. That's who I'm going with. Just put the pressure on him a bit. Yeah. Well, he uh, he, finished I, I think... off, he, fin- he he finished off very yeah, well on that on 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 Thursday night. You know, he, he took a little while to set his bike up. You know, and you know it's pretty hard to set these bikes up, these modern bikes up. Um, and he he plugged away, and, and you know, I, I tip my hat to him. Like uh, he's a lot better than I, I expected. You know, he was he was definitely competitive, and uh, and, and clearly he popped out in front of you, Rory, in that uh, I think it was he twelve oh, yeah, or whatever the... it was, and. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, the, the old, the old Schleiny almost went back to, I was about 19 to 20. I thought, oh, it's reeling back the days here. I constantly was in this position quite a few times when I was younger. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, I, I, um, I even just stood in the pits watching him. Uh, it's hard. I, I don't know if Stevie would, would get this, but when I was younger, I used to have posters of Crumpy up on my wall. So it was uh, a little bit weird to see it like, because he stepped away and now he's come back and you know it uh i just enjoyed actually watching him go around so um not 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 the four laps so i watched him you know i saw his backside yeah. for four laps but <laughs> is dan Bewley now able to race since yeah. the change of date no i suppose i'm aware them? dan's concentrating on poland at the moment mark, mark might be able to fill us in better on that one <laughs> handball that one over to me chris um, obviously, we've, we've, we've got the line up already, um, so they've, they've, they've run the same. I mean, I know uh, uh, Dan is available now because of a uh, you know, clash in Poland. He's racing on Sunday at the Gorge off, and he, he is available. But in all fairness, uh, he, he withdrew from the other competition, so uh, they they rightly gave it to the next person. And um, I, I guess you got to you got to support the. the BSDA's decision, you know, personally, we would love to have seen Dan at right at Bellevue. Um, but, you know, once you've withdrawn from events and you've, you've, you've kind of you've, you've committed to, you know, another league and given them your preference, you, you know, you've got to, you've got to respect everyone's wishes. And it's like, 
Yeah, and, 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 if, he, and if that the date hadn't changed or the venue hadn't changed, uh, that was that was his doing. So you know, he, it, the, I said the pressure's come from Poland, um, so it makes it very awkward. Um, and it, it's, it's disappointing not to have Dan, but you know, you know, once you've withdrawn for something and, and like the guys have committed, uh, you, you've got to like keep, you know, you can't really go chopping and changing every five minutes. No, there's there's a lot of guys that ordinarily obviously would be in the lineup. Um, you know, Cookie, uh, Robert Lambert, Ty, uh, Dan, obviously, and for for different Charles reasons. Right. Charles, of course, yeah, the defending champion. Um, but for different reasons, you know, uh, some because of, of a commitment they've made in Poland, and, and some because they just don't want to jump on the bike in a big meeting for a, for a one-off, which again is perfectly understandable. You know, there is no problem with those guys. They they had to be given the choice. Um, uh, and so, and as Mark says, you know, Dan had pulled out of the event, so we had to stick with the original lineup. Hmm. Uh, I mean, like, 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 like Steve, this was this, I mean, me and Steve had you know, quite a few conversations, and uh, I think we, we, we left it, um, have, a, have a sleep on it, uh, Steve, and, and come back with a decision about entering the British final. It, it's been a real tough decision to, to, to you know, run no meetings and come into a national champions. Because a championship because everyone gives this event the, the respect it deserves. So you kind of, the different, you know, the, the, the game's changed this year and then like the lineup doesn't reflect of what it probably should do, but you know, it's an opportunity, but I think we've got to sort of take that one step away. You know, there's a lot of guys out there are committed to, to putting on British Speedway, you know, Ipswich stepped up and we're going to run the event, you know, obviously in the, the difficult circumstances. Uh, with you know, and with the, the government, the DCMS uh, stepping in with the the pilot scheme, which was great that the uh, the association you know got involved uh, and contacted them and and put Speedway on the map because it, it, you know Chris, you can probably back me up here. I, I don't think they really recognised that we were a, a major team event um, competition in the country, which was a bit disappointing. Um, so we got red you know recogn recognition on, on that that front and given a pilot scheme, which you know there's not too many sports have. Achieves that, um, so yeah. It's just, there's been a, you know, hurdles, and it's like been changing all the time. And you know, like I said, like I said, you can back me up here, Steve. What you know, your your decision making around the British final wasn't an easy one. No, I remember I, I called you and I, I spoke to a few people, to be honest. And then uh, we had our conversation, and, and I left that call that night, having said to you, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to leave it. And you said, have a sleep on it, see how you feel in the morning. And then when I woke up, I texted you straight away to say. Yeah, put me in. Because it was hard going into such a big meeting. I know normal circumstances, yeah. The British final is something that I kind of throw everything in through the season. You know, it, it's one of them meetings that you, you you focus on all year. It's not it's not like it's uh, you do it every day type thing. It's, you train through the yeah. winter and that's what you're aiming for. Um, you're, always, you're always chasing towards that. And I think that comes with a lot of pressure and I, I didn't want to add all that pressure having not even rode my bike since um, when I don't, can't remember when the last time before the Ipswich practice was you know I just thought it's too much pressure and it's alright if I would go in there just to enjoy it and make the numbers up but having having nearly won it in the past I, I'm, I'm going there to obviously to win you know that that's my main target and I feel like I at that point, when I was when it first got announced, I thought I'll put too much pressure on myself. It could be chaos, you know. There might be bikes flying everywhere because everyone's rusty. You know? But yeah, it turns out we've we had the opportunity to do the meeting at Bellevue, a, a practice at Ipswich, and I feel like I, I was worrying for nothing really. You, you you don't forget how to ride a bike. I, I jumped on Ipswich, did a lap, and then. It, I felt like I was back to normal, to be honest. You you don't really lose it, but obviously you lose the the racing side of it. You know, I watched the heat back. I was racing. With, I had, I was stuck behind Richie um, on Thursday, and I felt like I was a lot closer than I was when I watched it back. I realised that I wasn't as close as as I thought I was. You know, just because you having not raced for for so long, you lose your you lose your judgment, you know. I, I felt like I was I was on his tail type thing, but yeah, when I watched it, I wasn't. And it, I think it takes it takes quite a while and a lot of racing to to get that back. Um. So yeah, the, hopefully come come Monday, we kind of 
all the, everything goes out the window type thing and yeah you're, yeah. you're there to win aren't you so I think it's get... get me in that position and hopefully everyone well you know you know how it is it, we've seen it in the past with the British final it's it's always um, really hard and close racing yeah so I've got um, young Tom Brennan in the background so we'll bring him on he obviously has a different perspective so hi Tom how are you, you good hello how's it going yeah, good. Thank you for um, so Tom, Tom's obviously coming on and this is your first British final and uh, and you're in a different situation to what Stevie and, and Rory are in the fact that you have been riding all season. Yeah, I mean, to sort of get the call for the British final was um, was unbelievable and I obviously didn't, didn't really expect it at all. Um, and obviously, um, I've been very lucky to get a few meetings. Um, obviously, going to Denmark and um, going to Poland a few times definitely has helped and put me sort of a step ahead of where I sort of was, if you know what I mean. So, um, so no, I mean, like you were saying before, the British final for me is is um, just about learning and, and obviously trying to build on myself and improve and sort of just keep pushing myself. Um, but no, I'm 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 really just excited more than anything. So. <laughs> Do you reckon you can yeah. get it over on these two? Oh, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> no problem. How, well, how I, do you I, go, I, felt, felt, I, felt, I felt they were a bit nervous before the, uh, the older boys. I was sort of like talking up the youngsters, and I'm like, you know, there's a bit of an anxious there. That, you know, maybe these you know, young kids are coming through. So it's, uh, they, weren't, they, weren't, they weren't talking too confident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you might have this one, Tom. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> well, it is. It's, it's, it's never been so open, I don't think, because no one's going into this meeting on the on the run of any any big scoring meetings. No one's going into it in good form. Everyone's in the same position, really. Like, we're, we've exactly. all done one practice and some of us have been lucky enough to do one meeting. So it's yeah. never really been I think, I think, as open. Yeah. And I think... I think that's what will make this this meeting quite exciting. You know, like you, know, you look at the the, the, the name, some of the big names out there, and like you know, we lost Robert Lambert last year in the, the British final on the eve of that. So it's like, and it was a great meeting, absolute fantastic meeting. So as you witness, the you know the, the National Speedway Stadium always puts up pretty good racing. So you know, whether the, the caliber is not what it was, and you know, I, I think we're we're in for a, a great event all the same. And it should be you know, a great opportunity for British Speedway to sort of capitalise in, in these. Uh, very trying times for sure for sure and yeah it's all down to the fans get behind it isn't it absolutely <laughs> but by, by the pass yeah by the pass do, do, do yeah. the riders get any discount on it <laughs> you'll be <laughs> there <laughs> <laughs> Well, Rory, you could share this post on Facebook and then you could be in a, in a chance to win. What you got to do is share I might, it. I might have to do that, yeah. Instead yeah. of the guest pass into the stadium, we should get the guest pass as a stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'd sit in the van and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Right. Okay, cool. I think, we'll, uh, I think we, we've all sort of said enough. Tom's not said very much at all because he's only just turned up yeah, but um sorry that was my fault I, yeah I, I don't know what happened really i lost track of time but very sorry no worries at all but um no i think it's been a, a very constructive uh constructive conversation i think it's uh it's, it's it's good i think the future for speedway is is bright if it's with fans or or with uh live streaming and i think everyone's in the in the same sort of boat of they want to get it going and getting more more um more meetings and all the rest of it and I think it's all good. So I'm going to uh, drop you all out and uh, we'll uh, see good you Good luck, guys. Cheers, Joe. Uh, thank you. Luck. There, guys. Cheers, guys. You, uh, if you want to stay in the background, we'll, I'll, we'll speak to you afterwards. Right. There we go. Uh, there we go. Da, da, da. There we go. Wilbur. That was awesome. So we didn't, you, didn't get much, you didn't get much of a... <laughs> Of a no, word in uh, for that show. I like you to know? I like to listen, and it, it was cool to hear everyone's perspective on it, and uh, especially you know Chris coming from the BSPA and and Mark as a team manager from the outside. It was, it was really cool to hear, and it's a little it's a bummer for Ipswich that they aren't allowed to you know host it this year. Um, but you know talks of the future, 
maybe they might be able to have some kind of another bigger meeting this year. Um, something maybe they can, you know, bring other riders from once the Polish and Swedish season, you know, are done for the year now because, you know, they got knocked out of the, the quarterfinals or whatever it happened. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. So it's, it's all good. It's all going in the right direction, like I said, I think. so. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah, keep sharing. Um, I think what, what I'll do is I'll speak to Chris after this, um, after this, and I think we will leave the shares thing going. Let's let leave it go to the morning, and then tomorrow morning at, say, 10 o'clock in the morning, I will uh, announce the two names um, that have won the f- free passes for, for the British final. But, uh, yeah, so keep sharing as much as you possibly can. Um, it's been a great show and we will see you on Tuesday For sure. um, and uh, yeah, stay safe and uh, make sure you watch the British final. Mm-hmm. For see sure. Guys. Have a good one. Cheers.